Yeah, in uh, Pine, Arizona. I don't know where Pine is in Arizona, but apparently I went there. Mm -hmm. That's the cable car that goes from the desert floor near Palm Springs, and there apparently was a panoramic picture there until somebody took it away, probably to use for raw materials or something, or maybe you were an art collector, I don't know. Unpainted. <laughs> Ilk and eggs as pop treats. I thought that was a beautiful piece of poetry. Pop treats. Please do not put anything in the toilet except toilet paper. <laughs> So how are you going to manage that? No shit. <laughs> I think that was over in Arizona someplace. And somebody was uh, apparently selling a bunch of, uh, of their paintings. And uh, this one just happened to be up near the uh, ladies' room sign. God, where was that? And they have a whole little storyboard about what's going to happen there on that corner. And it looks kind of sinister. So does this. Patio furniture. In the joke, die for your art. New York. It's about 1971, I think. Sins. Free. There's nothing sadder than an empty billboard. See and hear the pioneer story. That's uh, at a Mormon uh, site in Utah. And that was in uh, the town of Tampere, Finland. And it represents a, a person walking through an impenetrable forest of bushes. That's from London for cinema staff all over the country. And that I can't remember where I got it, but uh, I think it might have been in one of the boroughs of New York. The cabs and, uh, and that reddish color over on the left, on the left side, I think is what really sets it off. Yeah, I was taking these pictures of this wall because I, I liked the, their typography. And then down at the end of the alley, all of a sudden, a whole bunch of guys came out. There must have been about 12 of them. And I don't think it had anything to do with my being there, but it made me feel kind of funny, so I didn't stay around to take any more pictures. And that's a sign from a Hollywood film processing laboratory that advertised that they work with color material. 1950s or maybe 40s pornography I guess you could say in a tree that's in the London underground or the tube and they're warning you not to not to step between the the deck that you're standing on and watch your feet because you can step all the way down to the bottom and break your butt Hollywood bar somewhere in a, a smallish town in Colorado it doesn't look particularly welcoming. Of course, it's like high noon, and it's probably a bad time for the bar. Nuts all kinds. And that's a couple of comments on lifestyle. Chinese restaurant in Toronto. One hour photo. Ollie sucks. And the tree is just about to cover it up because it doesn't like it that much. And that's Toronto again, the fish market. And the car just happened to be very reflective and was parked in front of it. That's Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles, right near where that alley was shot. And a lot of people wanted to sign the doors there. That's Los Angeles, off of Pico Boulevard and near downtown. And that's a, that's a sign for a dairy. But I sort of like the way he f formalized the, uh, the, the black and white areas so that they seem to have more importance than, than they ordinarily would have. In Colorado, in the mining district, they would have contests, a uh, very large block of stone there, and I didn't see them actually doing it, but I, I guess there's some kind of a contest for how fast you can do it or how many holes you can drill, but it leaves this very permanent record behind, and it looks curiously like a place that had been shot up by criminals. Then there's that white strip down the middle that I thought was a nice touch. Another blank billboard. This one's kind of backlit and it has a rather attractive sky going on behind it. I was driving up to Santa Barbara from Los Angeles and 
and I, I, I was going up there repeatedly, and I kept seeing this sign, and I thought, I really have to get that. It seemed like the sign was made for some other client, and it was probably empty. The world will end next Tuesday. Get out while you can.